and meet Kathleen. Now there are currently four mistakes that are happening with Kathleen's hair that, well, unfortunately are making her look a little bit older. So we're gonna walk through exactly what those mistakes are. Much more importantly, how she can get a more youthful look. We're gonna do that right now. Wait a minute, babe, is this like a hard hike or is it like a easy hike? It's, is it harder and long? Good question. I'm not really sure, but better safe than sorry. It's a fair point. Yeah. And big huge thank you to Lumi for sponsoring this video and ensuring that, well, my feet don't smell like a dumpster full of donkey farts by the end of this hike. Thank you, Lumi. More about them in just a second. <laughs> okay, now if you're new to the series, I'm gonna explain in just a second exactly what I'm doing here. But if you're a veteran, while I explain, why don't you go ahead and comment below and let me know if you can figure out exactly what mistakes I'm seeing with Kathleen's hair. But if you're new, my name is Justin Hickox. I've been doing hair since 1995 and I like to take you on adventures while I teach you about hair. Basically, same information, just better backdrops. That's all. <laughs> but before we actually dive into the mistakes, well, let's first read the email that Kathleen sent with her submission so you can kind of get a better idea of exactly where I'm coming from with my suggestions. So let's read the email now. Okay, the email says, Hi, Justin. I wanted to tell you how much I enjoy your videos. Well, first of all, thank you. I appreciate that. I've been trying to get my hair to one length, but now it's just about there, and I think I want to go back to a layered look. I've had a bob style before and I liked it, but there are so many different kinds and I'm not sure what would be best for me. I don't mind taking a little time to style. And I like a style that is versatile, where it would look good straight or with a wave to it. I'm also wondering if my hair color is too light. I love to be classic, but fun, not old looking. I'm in my 60s now, but I feel much younger. Can you help fix my mistakes? And I'd be more than open to a total curveball style too. Thanks for considering me. Keep up with your awesome videos. And I do love all the scenery places that you shoot your videos. Take care, Kathy. All right, so now that you know the email and kind of have some ideas or some backstory to what Kathleen's dealing with right now and maybe where some of these mistakes are coming from, let's talk about some mistakes. Okay, now mistake number one is that the length is just a little bit too long. Now, part of the bigger concern with this is that at this current length, it's gonna start brushing on her shoulder and start to kick out. Now, the problem with that is it kind of steps it away from the overall bob shape that Kathleen seems to be kind of leaning towards or wanting to at least move towards. So taking this a little bit shorter is going to help a ton in that regard. Now, with that said, I'm fully aware that there's something called a lob, which is a long bob. And that's a very kind of cool and edgy and fun look right now. And it has been for a little while. But the lob is still dependent on the length of somebody's neck their hair texture, their hairline, and realistically keeping it still up off of the shoulders enough that it doesn't end up flipping out. So even if this were going to move into a lob shape, still a bit too long for Kathleen's specific neckline and body shape. Now mistake number two is the lack of beveling that's going on at the bottom of the shape. And as you can see, it's adding a little bit of bulk. And this amount of bulk at the bottom is really starting to bring the eye down, just kind of pull the shape down altogether. Okay, now kind of building on mistake number two, mistake number three is that there's just a lack of internal layering or layering on the top. Now, I'm full aware that Kathleen mentioned in her email that she's been growing it out into one length. And that's kind of why I wanted to bring this into the mix and throw it out there as an actual mistake. Because what I find is, in theory, the idea of growing hair out at kind of almost any length for most circumstances, but especially in a bob shape, to one length growing out all those layers, it sounds like a good idea. And there are certain circumstances in which it can be kind of a funky and edgy look. But for the most part, the lack of layers ends up, like you can see here, starting to pull the face down and pull the overall shape down. It doesn't a lot for enough volume in the areas that we want volume to create the amount of shape that we want to create that's going to help accentuate the things about our face shape that we want to accentuate. Now, in this particular case, the bigger concern is that Kathleen also mentioned that while she is open to spending time on her hair in terms of styling it, she does want something that has some versatility, maybe something that can go wavy and straight. And having a lack of layering right now, even if she were able to get her hair to hold the wave with its current amount of weight from that one length look, it's going to be too full at the bottom and give a very triangular shape. So actually having some layers on top will allow to give her the versatility that she's looking for. Now, mistake number four is kind of less of a mistake and more just kind of addressing one of the questions or concerns that Kathleen had, kind of making a suggestion. 
and that is about her color being potentially too light. Now, what I notice here is if you look at this part of her hair right here, you'll see that there's a little bit of warmth in some of it, but also in the lighter pieces, it's actually a little bit cooler. Now, her skin tone would a lot for being able to wear a cooler color, and the bigger concern right now is that these warmer pieces are actually kind of just playing against the cooler places. They're not playing well and it ends up making them look a little bit more orange than they may even be. I don't think it's overall too light, but I think adding some more depth to it would definitely help give it more dimension, but also just give a little bit more richness to Kathleen's skin tone. Okay, now before we get to the suggestions that I had and show you exactly what they're gonna look like and share some curveball styles that uh, I'm not gonna lie, you're not gonna wanna miss because they're kinda awesome. Uh, let's chat a little bit about Lumi. Okay, so many of you already know that my wife and I are currently live in a van. Yes, like a literal van. <laughs> and what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, it means that uh, we're not taking showers as often as I would like. That is where Lumi comes in. Lumi is a full body deodorant that actually prevents external body odor from even happening, instead of just trying to cover it up. You know, some of you are probably stuck on the fact that I just said full body deodorant. Now I know when you hear deodorant, your first thought is underarm deodorant. This is a whole nother ball game, folks. This is a full body deodorant. What is full body? Babe, what's full body? Full body means full body. You can use it anywhere. You like know. Where? Your armpits, your feet, your hands, your BBS. What is a BBS? You know BBS? No, your I don't. Boob and booty sweat, the under sweat that you get under your boobs and your booty. <laughs> it's a real thing. Little boobies, little booties, <laughs> big boobies, big booties. We all get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, so uh, you could put it anywhere more places than i want to mention so my wife will <laughs> other than the fact that it's actually clinically proven to block body odor for up to 72 hours and yeah i would say that that seems about spot on i'm also a huge fan of the fact that it's aluminum and baking soda free it's easy i've been using the silver spruce deodorant stick the warm vanilla deodorant cream and the clean cotton wipes and they smell incredible and i like the fact that it can be put like we said anywhere on the body i mean to be honest when we first got it, I wasn't even sure what to think about it because it's so different from what I'm used to. But I'm not going to lie, I'm a huge fan of the fact <laughs> that I could put it on my feet wherever it actually sinks. And there you go. Because let me tell you, when you're in a van, you're in close quarters. And guess what? Yeah, you smell feet. They stink. Thank you, Lumi, for making my feet not stink. That's a really big deal. <laughs> Now, Lumi's Starter Pack Bundle is a seriously good deal for new customers with incredible savings. It comes with full-size stick deodorant, a cream deodorant tube, and two free products, and free U.S. shipping. And, just for you guys, my subscribers, Lumi is also giving you a total discount of almost 40% when you order at lumi.deals slash Justin Hickox and enter code Justin Hickox at checkout. So yes, make sure you head down to the description below, check that out, and use the code Justin Hickox at checkout so you can get yourself fat savings. Yeah, so you can be more confident because you won't stink, I don't stink, none of us stink. There's just no stinking. Nobody wants to be stinky, right? Nobody wants to be this. No one wants to be the stinky kid. That's all I'm saying. All right, thank you, Lumi. Now let's see exactly what these suggestions will look like. Kathleen actually took my advice. Sound good? Okay, now mistake number one was all about the length being just a little bit too long. And that was bringing the shape down, but more importantly, breaking it into a whole different style from the bob shape, because we're gonna start breaking out and flipping out on the shoulders. So if we actually brought that length up, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see here, similarly to a lot of different situations, just bringing the length up really doesn't get us to the end goal. It almost compounds the amount of volume that's on the side that we'll talk about here in just a second. And in reality, it kind of brings the shape down almost even more. It does kind of step us back into the bob feel, but it doesn't do anything for the face shape. So now it's where we get into mistake number two and three. Okay, now mistakes number two and three were all about the layering, the lack of beveling at the bottom that was actually enhancing some of that fullness that we just talked about from mistake number one, but also the lack of layering on top that was really creating a lack of movement in the shape, but also making it lay a bit flatter than we might want to get a more flattering look. So if we actually bevel the bottom a little bit and we added some layers to the top, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, we're really starting to head in the direction of a shape that's actually being more flattering on Kathleen. 
we're not just talking about a bob shape, we're talking about having volume in areas that are more flattering, meaning that they're lifting the eye, they're accentuating more cheek structure, more bone structure, and really just ending up looking stronger on Kathleen. Now, the bigger thing that we already talked about with this is that these layers would also allow her the versatility. Now, we're going to see exactly what this versatility and creating that wave that she talked about will look like once we break into the curveballs and hit the end of this video. So stick around for those. Like I said, you're not going to want to miss them. But this does open up the shape to a lot more options with the way that she styles it. Okay, now mistake number four was all about the color and just the fact that the color wasn't necessarily too light, although I would recommend some dimension or some depth to kind of create more dimension but it was more of a concern that the warmer pieces were looking even warmer than they might be almost kind of more orange and just not playing well with the coolness of the lighter tones and overall I would like to see it probably more on a cooler feel as a whole because I feel that would work better with Kathleen's skin tone so if we cool down those pieces and add a little bit of dimension this is what that could look like now, as you can see, I'm not showing you the front view, and I'll be completely honest, as always, I tried my hardest to get the front view to really show you what I wanted to show you with Photoshop, but it just wasn't coming out. I just couldn't get the colors to kind of shift to really give you an idea. So I'm showing you a profile to kind of give you a better idea of what the dimension would kind of look like. So there's going to be a little bit where you're going to have to work with me on this one and use your better judgment. Now, what you can't see is the dimension that this will give it when her hair is wavy. It's a huge deal with the amount of wave that she wants to put in it. This will really make that color pop a lot more. But yeah, you can see that it's moving in the right direction, right? You can see that, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, we got to talk about some curveballs, okay? Are you ready to talk about some curveballs? We got to talk about some curveballs. So Let's talk about some curveballs. Okay, now, if you remember Kathleen's email, she said not only does she want option, meaning she wants to be able to style it wavy as well as straight, but she's also willing to spend some time styling it, which that, my friends, opened me up to some options. But she also, even above and beyond that, because as if that wasn't enough, she also even said, I'm willing to see a real crazy curveball. And well, <laughs> I have a few things that I'm gonna show you right now. Yes, we've got some curveballs. Okay, curveball number one. Now, I wanted to keep her in a style for this that was similar to where she's wanting to be and what she already has. While at the same time, I wanted to show you what it would look like if she actually did kind of take my suggestions from the original part of this video and add some wave and style to them. But I didn't want to just leave it at that. So I changed things up just a little bit in another way. So, here's one idea. Okay, now, <laughs> personally, I love this. There's a lot going on here, right? Clearly, we are darker in our tones and colors, and we have a lot of wave and, therefore, volume. And some of you are probably going to hit me up immediately and say, yeah, 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 it's got volume, but she could never wear that kind of volume because her hair won't get that kind of volume. And I don't disagree with you. I don't know that she will get the amount of volume that we were seeing in this particular photo. Here's what I do know wave once you add wave is going to have an inherent amount of volume that is above and beyond what she's currently getting with her straight hair now if she uses the right product and approaches her styling in the right method and since she is willing to spend the time styling her hair she could definitely get a very similar amount of volume to what you're seeing here enough that it would still give us the same benefits that this volume is creating but that's above and beyond kind of what i love about this shape the wave is great and the overall movement and texture is great i also love the dimension in the color now i don't know about you but i think if she's gonna go all in and really take a curveball to switch things up this would absolutely be a direction i would head this color brings out so much tone in her skin so much richness in her skin tone i am a huge fan but I didn't want to leave it there because of those folks out there that would be saying there is no way that she could create that much volume. Or maybe, Kathleen, you don't want to create that much volume. Maybe you like hair that is a little bit sleeker because I did notice that in all of your photos, the hair was a little bit on the sleeker side. So what if we change things up a little bit and did something that wasn't quite so voluminous? Well, here's another option. I told you it would be different. What can you expect? <laughs> all right, this is obviously quite a bit shorter than any sort of bob shape. It's definitely not one length. Uh, yeah, I would say that this is vastly different. It is a definite curveball. Now, I personally like this shape because it lends itself 
to a very sleek feel. It doesn't necessarily need a lot of volume to have kind of a cool and effortless look. But the bigger reason that I kind of went in this direction is because one, I think Kathleen's hair texture would work well for this. But two, in her email, she said that she wants something still polished, but she likes to have fun with it. And I think that this is a shape that still has a lot of fun. While it still has a polished feel and it still can be very elegant, at the same time, it's still very fun too. It's kind of an edgy, but not overly edgy look. So I don't know about you, but I think this would be a definite option for her. I also love the dimension in this color. There's still a lot of lightness to it, but at the same time, all of the dimension and the depth in it gives it a lot more movement. So even if she didn't style this all funky and crazy, she's still gonna get a lot of movement to the shape. So yeah, all of that I love. But you know how I roll? I know there's going to be some opinions about this one. So why don't you go ahead and let me know. Comment below and tell me the opinions. And before we sign off, I want to say another huge thank you to Lumi for sponsoring this video. And do not forget to head down to the link in the description below. Check out Lumi. And don't forget, you can save almost 40% off your Lumi starter pack when you use code Justin Hickox at lumi.deals slash Justin Hickox. So make sure you head down and check them out right now. Yeah, don't stink. Nobody wants to stink. Okay, I am done here. I'm going to... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to hike back to the van, actually, because I'm freezing and I'm hungry. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Go check out Lumi. Lumi, thank you. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a great afternoon. Bye. And bye.